Eastern black rhinos are one of the world's most endangered mammal groups. Large-scale poaching in the late 20th century led to a significant decline in black rhino populations across Africa. There are only an estimated 800 black rhinos in the world today. DHL, the world's leading express delivery provider, has just completed another landmark transportation project with the delivery of a black rhino from its birthplace in the Czech Republic to its natural homeland in Tanzania. The three-year-old female was transported from the Czech Republic to a national park in Tanzania as part of an ongoing conservation project run by the George Adamson Wildlife Preservation Trust. The, the trust is aimed at helping endangered animal populations to grow and to prosper in their natural habitat. Elska, the black rhino's move, was overseen by an international DHL team that comprised about 40 specialists in areas ranging from ground transportation and aviation to customs clearance and certification across more than five countries. The 900 kilogram fem female black rhino was transported from the Czech Republic where she was born in 2012 to the main DHL European hub in Germany. She was then loaded onto a 28 ton 757-200 freighter which was specifically modified for animal transport. She was then flown 650 kilometers directly to Kilimanjaro Airport in Tanzania. There she was transferred by truck to her new home. Along the way the rhinoceros was accompanied and monitored by a team of support staff including Dr. Pete Morgan, one of the leading world experts on black rhinos and a veterinarian. Five containers of food and water supplies were also loaded for the journey. What about Francisco? Saving black rhinos is important as there's only 800 left in the world. This is James with Net News Ledger reporting from Thunder Bay, Ontario.
didn't say everything. No. I, just, I did. I just see how she feels all fluffy then. And the reason the poor reason the poor is here. He said, oh, look how good all these pictures of him with the hyenas. I said, you could. Ah, no, man, they know that. Over the next few days, we'll be transporting a black rhinoceros back to Tanzania from the Czech Republic via our global hub in Leipzig. Um, and this will be taking place over this weekend at the end of June. The journey itself for Aliska will begin in the Czech Republic, where there'll be a three to four hour drive from here um, in Prague or, or the zoo in the Czech Republic into Germany via Dresden into Leipzig. So after the four hour drive, then the long haul really begins. It's making sure everything's set up, all the certifications there. The animal has got to be made comfortable, got to be loaded into the aircraft. All the temperature has to be right and everything has to be really, really secure because then what follows is about six and a half thousand kilometers all the way from Leipzig directly into Kilimanjaro into Tanzania. Um, and then from there, the rhinoceros then be housed into the national park. So it's no ride in the park. It's, it's a long journey. This move is a continuing uh, process of establishing the healthy population of the black rhinos in the Kumasi National Park. So she will be successfully reintroduced to Antum Kumasi and join the group of the black rhinos there. Wonderful to be taking an animal back to Africa and uh you know, adding to the population there. Uh, obviously a lot of problems in Africa, a lot of poaching at the moment, uh, but where this animal is going is, uh, it's a very secure place, it's very well protected, and uh, she should be fine there. Each one counts, she's a lovely young female, she's got a whole breeding life ahead of her, and um, you know, we could have as many as eight, maybe even 10 calves out of her, and, and you know, that, that, that could make a big, big difference. That's one good thing about black rhino, uh, they readapt very easily, uh, within a few months, you wouldn't know that this animal had been, you know, born and grew up in a zoo. I think the overriding emotion in all this is, um, again, it's one, it's one of relief that she got here safely, um, with uh, lots of people attending to her the whole time. You know, at one point, I think we must have had about 50 or 60 people on the tarmac at Kilimanjaro. Um, so it was a big logistical exercise. A lot of planning went into it. Um, things could have gone wrong, you know, mainly um, uncontrollable things like the weather. And, you know, it, uh, so it's an overriding feeling of great relief and closure. And we're all very happy that, um, that she's been delivered um, on time, on schedule. Um, and, uh, in the DHL way, I, I, I must say, you know, passion, speed, right first time. So it's all worked fantastically. But to actually have a Liska here in that boma last night um, was, you know, you, there was a sense of peace, but I could, I could, I was a bit weepy just to see her here and walking around. And, and then I, then I thought, well, you know, you've got to look after her for the next 30 years too. And, make sure she's going to be, it's a wonderful feeling.